Welcome, ladies, gentlemen, and others, to Star Trek Resurgence. So this is a new game by the good folks over at Dramatic Labs and Bruna House, and the former developers, a couple of former developers of the Telltale series. They of games such as the Expanse series, which we have covered on the channel before, and which is uh, damn good, and other such games that uh, I haven't quite covered yet on the channel, but am meaning to. And you guys must know how I love me some uh, some space, and definitely loving me some Trek. So um, the little that I know about this game, and it is very little, is that uh, it involves we are a new Starfleet officer, and we get embroiled in some kind of space conspiracy, which is uh, going to be just absolutely brilliant. So I'm super excited to get into this here and see what it's about, and see if they can faithfully capture the spirit of the Star Trek world of exploration and uh, using decisions to... Uh, make the best of all possible outcomes for our characters and hopefully have no one die. So um, we're going to see if we can do that. Let's go. This is Dramatic Labs Adventure. The relationships and events you are about to experience will be shaped by the choices you make. Okay. Is it going to do the space, the final frontier? Captain's oh, look at that shuttle. The crew is restless. After spending too many months piecing our ship back together, we're finally about to venture out on a new mission. And the crew isn't letting this unprecedented ion storm slow them down. They're ready for something different. I know I am. Perhaps more than any of them. Fortunately, nothing ever stays the same. It's entropy. The nature of the universe. Change is inevitable. And while entropy says order gives way to chaos, in this case, Change is good. Oh yeah, this is this is feeling pretty trek to me. Our new so first we... officer is en route to the Resolute. So looking by the I know she'll bring a welcome dose of new blood to the crew. With what half Cardassian? Oh Whoa. Thanks. No problem. I, uh... I'm not great with flying. But these little shuttles... are the worst. But... You don't like flying. And yet... you joined Starfleet. There's a reason I'm not a pilot. You should try it sometime. The crew is impacted by the things you say. Sorry, I'm a, I'm a little anxious. I hadn't noticed. I'm on my way to my first assignment. When we get to the Starbase, I'm transferring on to the Resolute. So am I. Wait, she can't be Cardassian. She doesn't have enough head ridges and stuff. Step in at the 11th hour like this. Look at that. I believe that's the Miranda class starship there. We've got an Excelsior class as well. Oh, this is going to be good. Star Trek Resurgence. Okay, guys, we're going to have to make some proper decisions here. Our decisions will have consequences. Change of station. Okay, check in station. Alright, so we can... Can use controls. Good, good. 
think we're going to use the controller for this here. Um, a star base on the very edge of Federation space. Star base one two eight. Long way from home now. Indeed, man. Look at that, guys. Look at that. That's your background wallpaper. Okay, so what controls do we have? Like nothing so far. Menu. Um, actually, hang on. I would like some. Uh, Subtitles. I'd like some subtitles for you guys. For my non native English speakers. Uh, Commander? I'm not usually such a nervous wreck, by the way. I actually did well at the Academy. Oh, yeah? Maybe you've heard of the Torvalon test? Sounds familiar. It's a tactical simulator that makes the Kobayashi Maru look like a picnic on Pintaris 5. Anyway, I finished in the top 20. Not okay. just in my class. I, I mean, all time. In the history of the Academy. Very impressive. So, oh, no, no, that's not what I want to impress. Simulations are great for training, but they're not quite the same as the real thing. That's fair. I guess I'm about to find out. Okay, have to be mindful of controls. Please place your hand here. Hold it there for a few seconds. Is this to make sure that we aren't, um, shapeshift or something? You're Jara Rydek? You absolutely crushed the Torvalon test. You, you finished in what, like the top three? That would be me. <laughs> Now I'm really... It, it, it's an honor to meet you, Commander. Sorry, I, I didn't realize before. I, I just came off the shuttle and was glad to be on solid ground. Oh, that's not what I wanted to press either. No. Keep your eyes and ears open and you might pick up on things. I believe Commander Ermod is expecting you. He's in the concourse just ahead. See you on the Resolute. Okay, I think we need to get these controls down, because uh, I can't be picking the wrong things by accident. Find Commander Ermot. Okay, I think I think we've gotten there now. Repair status, so this is... Our ship repairs in progress, so this is the Resolute. Good day, Commander. Good day. Okay. Storm report, so we can see what's going on with the storm. Uh, those are the things with which we can interact, it seems. There we go, we can uh, walk a bit I faster. remember my briefing. Commander Ermont is a Bolian, so I'm looking for someone with blue skin. Okay, that's not you. The lost crewman, did we talk to him? Are you alright? Yeah, I I'm just... Well, I'm not sure where my departure dock is. The Resolute's gonna leave without me. Look here. The Resolute is leaving from this dock. Ah, you're right. Nerves must be getting to me. Thanks so much, Commander. Okay. I hope he found his way. We can examine the elevator, okay? Not until I find Commander Ermot. Yes, let's find Commander Ermot. But uh, let's look around as well, because with these Telltale games, it's all about looking around, examining, getting info. Has four docks. Only four decks. Is that is that good? Excuse me. Have you seen a Bolian around here? Yes, sir. Right back there, near the replicator. Okay, in the back. Ah, there he is. Thank you. Happy to help, Commander. So we are Commander level, which is, uh... I'll replicate myself a meal once I'm on board. Which is like, what? Like, first officer? So it's a bit like Commander Riker, or...? Excuse me. Yep. Oh, we say excuse me. Look at that. Um, okay, is there anything else we can look at here? I don't believe so. Let's talk to, uh, Ermot.
Welcome to the edge of the galaxy, Commander Rydak. I'm Commander Jan Ermott, Operations Officer on the Resolute. Commander? I hope there wasn't too much trouble getting here. This storm isn't making anything easy. It was a bit bumpy. Right I can take it. I know conditions are less than ideal at the moment. It takes more than a little turbulence to rattle me. I'm sure that's the case. We're grateful you were able to come fill our first officer vacancy at such short notice. From everything I've read and everything I've heard, we're lucky you were available to us. Coming from a premier starship. What have you heard? Been with the phone. You have access to a research vessel. What have you heard? What exactly have you heard about me? First in your class at the academy, received the Starfleet Award of Valor during the Dominion War. Most recently, tactical officer and chief of security on the USS Endeavor. You've done your homework. Like I said, we're very lucky. There she is. The USS Resolute. She may not look like much compared to the bigger ships, but as far as science vessels go, she can more than hold her own. And she doesn't look so bad considering six months ago she was nearly cracked in half, venting plasma, fighting for her life. It was an accident? The equipment malfunction. An accident suggests fault, but no one's to blame. Interesting. It was a test, but the warp core was pushed beyond its limits. It destabilized the dilithium, there was a runaway reaction, and the warp bubble deformed. We thought we could reach a higher resonant frequency, but it was more than she could handle. Cost us our first officer and 22 of our crew. At the end of the day, we're all responsible for each other. That's what um, it means to be a crew. Sorry for your loss. I can't even begin to imagine what that must have been like for you. I'm so sorry for your loss. Thank you. It does weigh heavy. Did you lose anyone close? There are some things you can't forget. Yeah, did you lose anyone close? Did you lose anyone close to you? Too many. And to that I'll just say... You have big shoes to fill. Listen. I realize you've known Captain Solana for quite some time. And I'm sure you're ready to bring your best. But I should warn you that when the captain announced you would be the new first officer, there were those who felt it was a mistake that he should have promoted from within. Oh, okay, we know that. First. So at least get over that. I can earn their trust. Until thanks for the heads up. Value your contributions as much as he does. Okay, thanks. I c we, we can earn their trust. Trust is earned, and it sounds like I have my work cut out for me. But I plan on winning them over. I don't doubt that. I just figured it was better to know what you're walking into. Of course. Starfleet has assigned us a high-priority mission to the Hotari region. I'll let the captain brief you on board. I know he's eager to see you. Will we be mission ready in time? We have every intention. The crew has been working around the clock to get the ship ready. There's still so much to do. Okay. So uh, we've got a frame of reference now. Like, based on the uniforms be like um dark gray upper parts with the uh the Sick. colored uh like shirts okay, just the thing we know that uh, we are now well we also said we, it is like late trek so after the dominion war we know that there uh what do we need here? plasma torch uh inspect i mean is it worth inspecting the stuff we know what hyperspanner does almost everything except what i need right now i know i know i just want to look at the stuff here Melt some corrosion. Uh, just a plasma injector. I don't need to rewire the optical data network. I just need to burn this gunk off. Okay, let's get the plasma torch. Clear the corrosion. Let's go. Oh, uh, where? What are we doing here?
Okay, that uh, seems simple enough. Like, the minigames are... Not too intrusive, it seems. Okay. And the last bit of corrosion. Oh man, you, you just gotta love Trek. Come on. Just the gadgets, the gizmos, the uniforms, the... You know, all things Starfleet related. Uh, so that the end, right trigger, like that. Is that? The lower decks. So I heard there's a, I heard there's a, t a TV show called Star Trek Lower Decks as well. I heard it's meant to be pretty good. So she's a trill, I believe, with the spots. That means she has a, a she shares a symbiotic Not relationship with a like a worm-like creature in her and tummy. Not a moment too soon. The boss wants us down in engineering, like now. All right, follow Ed Salat to engineering. Uh, hang on, we want to do some looking around first. Everything okay? I dropped a non-ferrous connector between the coils. Gonna have to remove a few of them to find it, and then. Then another hour of recalibrating. Ouch. I'll leave you to it. So that looks like the buzzard ram scoop on a on a shuttle or something like that there. The the, the nacelle rather. Oh man, this game. Guys, you just you just want to geek out yeah, on this. This is great. Some help with the transporter? Uh what's up? What's the problem? We need to test this cargo transporter. I've never been that great with the signal plotting. I got it. No problem. Okay, another minigame. Select waypoints to create a path through the ionic interference. The line connecting the points will lose stability if it passes through the interference. The yellow bar indicates the stability of your path. When full, you will succeed. Uh, okay, use that there and that there. Alright, let's... Uh... Sir Diaz. Let's test it out, I suppose, right? How's this, how does this work? So from here? Hurry up! What? Like I'm? Um, what? Oh, I see. We have to try and navigate through the ionic storm like that. Time's a wasting. Yeah. Okay. I I got I got you. So let's. Yeah, go through the storm as much as possible. Like that. Yeah, that seems about right. Boom. No sweat. Whoa, whoa, hey, hey, buddy, get, get off the pad. Uh. Jeez. Not a word. Yeah, that can be quite bad. I mean, I don't know how you guys feel about uh, like transporters in general. You know, the notion of being like vaporized in one area and then rematerializing in another. But uh, I mean, you know, maybe maybe you got to be okay with it. Uh, what's this mechanic yes. up to? Have you seen a hyperspanner around here? Maybe. I saw it near the shuttle, uh, Tarmigan. I'll let you know. Okay, which one's the Tarmigan? That's the Melville. This here is the... Uh, is this it? Yeah, that's it. This must be it, right? That's not where that goes. Maybe we can figure out where you're supposed to be. Maybe over here with the engineer, presumably. Oh, hey, there it is. You're a lifesaver, Diaz. Well, I don't know about that, but I try. 
You know, just just trying to be helpful here. Okay, anyone else we can help? No. Oh, what is going on here? What is with this mess? Why do I see probes on the ground? Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, these are heavier than they look. Makes more sense than zero G. You're welcome. Duh. Another one? So clean I can see myself. And you know what? Not half bad. Alright, so we've admired ourselves, we've helped out the engineers and the other uh, the other mechanics here. Anything here? No. Alright, methinks we are done. Hang, we haven't actually checked inside the shuttles yet. Diaz, you're in my light. Oh, oh sorry. sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, yeah, no, I, th I think we're good. Let's uh, let's get out of here. Let us vamos. Oh, hang on. You need talking to. Hey, don't let LT catch you blocking the quarters like this. We'll clear it up once we finish the delicate work. Good looking out, though. Well, you know, we're just we're just trying. We are just trying. Uh, let's see. Good to see her fully operational again. And if she breaks, we'll just fix her. Yeah, I mean. Gives you access to the tubes behind cargo storage all the way to the turbo lift. Not after the retrofit. Bulkhead cuts it off at section two. New computer reroutes. Okay, so aside from just a repair, there also they've also re they've also retrofit the um the the resolute. Engineering. I heard the new Exo just arrived. Won't be long before we get underway. I just hope whatever Chovok called us down for, it's something good. I can never tell with him. I'd rather not end up degaussing plasma manifolds. You're not up for it? Hanging upside down makes me queasy. We can handle anything. You and me working together, we can tackle anything he throws at us. Your optimism is positively contagious. Oh, you gotta lost some Trek guys, come on. Looks like we got here before. Lieutenant Commander Chovak. We were just looking for you, Commander. Petty officers Ed Salar, Diaz. I was beginning to think you would be late. We are all hands on deck right now, which means if you are not at your post at the appointed time, I do not have someone to replace you. A point I have been forced to make to Petty Officer Ed Salar on repeated occasions. Uh, sorry for the delay. Uh, apologies for the delay, Commander. I do not want your apologies. Simply see to it that it does not happen again. So, I don't suppose you wanted us down here to check in before we go off duty? He's a Vulcan. Equip yourselves in EV suits to work on the exterior of the hull. I need you to tune the structural integrity field for optimal performance. The subspace distortions and ionic interference we are experiencing are preventing the proper calibration. But this ship must be ready to depart shortly, despite the storm. The precise nature of these disturbances are not fully understood. But many systems have been affected by the wide band of emissive activity. Um, the storm will pass, right? Commander, if this energy storm is causing problems here at Space Dock, what does that say about what we're gonna find when we head out there for real? Shouldn't we let this storm pass? Long-range sensors show that conditions will indeed be more severe at our destination, the Hotari system. Thusly, we are taking all necessary precautions. You have your orders. Do not delay. Yes, Commander Chobok. All hands on deck. Oh, uh, what's that? All hands on deck. That's what Chobok said. You know what that means? It means this ship isn't ready to go out, and the brass know it. So they're throwing every warm body at it. And they're going to leave on schedule. Consequences uh, be damned. So it's on us now? It all comes down to us, Nilly. We're the ones who will get it ready. 
I know what we can do. But this isn't just any old refit or any old relaunch. Oh, whoa. <laughs> Excuse me. A lot of new faces coming on board. It's got to be tough coming as a replacement. That's for sure. Uh, give them a chance, right? They seem all right. Something that happened six months ago while they were off on another ship? Well, that's nothing to hold against them. Yeah, you're right. I guess getting a little new blood on board doesn't hurt. Hold on. Now there's an old face I didn't expect to see again. Hey, Miranda! You weren't gonna leave without me, were you? Miranda, you're here? We thought you were staying on the Adirondack. Transfer came in at the last minute, so I figured I'd slum it on this bucket of bolts. Looks like you got her back together pretty nicely. I wasn't sure what to expect. <laughs> welcome aboard. I'm gonna take the high road here, pretend you didn't say that, and welcome you aboard. He's a better diplomat than I am. He still owes me a bottle of Saurian brandy. Don't think I forgot. Oh, yeah, it's coming back to me now. Maybe Carter can wrestle up that bottle and we can give you a proper welcome. As soon as we wrap up this quick little spacewalk. Let's go. Here, let me help you. <sighs> Thanks. So what's the word? Are you back in the security rotation? Yep. Still running with the usual suspects. Whoa. Good to go. See you on the other side. Oh, force fields. Activate you gotta love them, huh? Souls. Mag boots, of course. Time for a nice old spacewalk. That's but that's what you guys came for, isn't it? Oh, okay. So let's do this. I remember we did a pretty cool spacewalk section in them. Um, the uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy game, and and even the Expanse game. Actually, no, now that I think about it. Oh yeah. Might get a bit dizzy, guys, so just um, keep your eyes on the horizon. How cool is that, honestly? Hands. Captain Solano should be here momentarily. You'll have to forgive me, I don't know much about Kobliads. But my understanding is you need a steady supply of deridium to keep your cell structure stabilized, or bad things start to happen. And we have plenty of deridium in sickbay, so there's no risk of running out. Thank you. Oh, so she's a cobloid. Interesting. At home. And help yourself to whatever you like from the replicator. That's an interesting thing about um, Star Trek. Like, you'll notice that all the different alien races are all, for the most part, hominids. And they're not that, like, as alien as, like, the, the aliens in something like a Mass Effect game. And, I mean, I kind of get that. On the one hand, it's, like, you look at it and you think, oh, that kind of breaks... Uh, what what one expects when encountering aliens, because it's like, well, everyone's basically a human or some human in some kind of cosplay, right? But uh, I, I think when you get into the kind of psychology of it, it's, uh, it's I mean, aside from the, the budget not being Moby spectacular back in the 60s when this thing oh, came out, no one has gone before. When, when the series came started, I think a part of it was also... Last time I saw you, it was graduation from the academy. You'd already secured one of the most prestigious assignments possible. 
And you were burning with enough ambition to fuel seven trips around the Necrid Expanse. It's good to see you again, Captain. I could not be happier to have you on the Resolute. My only regret is that we couldn't provide you with a warmer welcome. The arrival of a first officer to her new ship deserves a bit of fanfare. Uh, let's just get but to work. Unfortunately, we've had our hands full with the refit. You can spare me the pomp and circumstance. There's plenty of work to be done without all that. <laughs> you always had a work ethic like nothing I'd ever seen. That's just what this ship needs at the moment. As I'm sure you've heard, we've had a rough go of it these last six months. The ship suffered some damage, but not nearly as much as the crew. Um, well, we'd know about the accident. Yeah, the accident, maybe? Should we ask about that? No, let's, let's, let's play dumb. You'll have to forgive me. I don't really know the details. Starfleet has been kind enough to keep the story contained. Probably because they want to protect me. But I don't mind telling you. We were on the verge of a major scientific breakthrough. A quantum leap forward in warp core technology. 10,000 teradynes per second. The ability to travel at a sustained rate of speed longer and faster than we ever dreamed. Okay. The crowning achievement of my career. Right there. Within our grasp. <sighs> Until it all went so horribly wrong. We pushed her too hard, and a warp core malfunction overloaded the system, creating a pressure gradient way beyond what the ship can handle. It was heartbreaking. We lost some of our best people. As captain, I have to take full responsibility. It was my decision to make, and I have to live with the consequences. Uh, the crew knew the risks, um... We all know the risks when we sign up. There are no guarantees. As much as we tell ourselves otherwise. True. But as captain, my job is to mitigate and manage the risks as much as possible. And that's where I failed. In my defense, I will say, I might have avoided the whole ordeal if my senior staff had been willing to trust me. There was a lot of pushback from my former XO, and I, I think that cost me his confidence. I don't want you to pull any punches. Certainly not on my account. But once we decide on a course of action, I need everyone to fully commit to the mission. Interesting. Anything so the former that, CEO, XO, objected. Work. And that's when things start to go sideways. Uh, you can rely on me. Whether I agree or disagree, I can promise that I'll be honest to a fault. Good. That's exactly what I'm looking for. But at the end of the day, it has to be my call. Look, I'll be blunt. We can't afford another mistake. Or at least, I can't. I feel like my career is hanging in the balance here. We need a win. Something to restore the crew's confidence. I understand. On a more positive note, Starfleet has tasked us with what they're calling a mission of the highest priority. Escorting a senior diplomat to Hotari space. Two previously peaceful and otherwise non-aggressive civilizations now find themselves on the brink of all-out war. So it's a peacekeeping mission? I see it as a golden opportunity to not only prove what the Resolute and her crew are truly capable of, but also a mission for which we're uniquely qualified. This ionic storm. Our long-range sensors suggested several orders of magnitude stronger than anything on record. A total anomaly like nothing we've seen before. And you'll never guess where it leads. Hatari. Exactly. Very nearly in the precise location where we're headed. Where I imagine the interference will be exponentially greater. But the diplomat will brief us on the details of the rendezvous. Who is, Who is the, the diplomat? diplomat we're escorting? That I don't know. Starfleet hasn't said. But I don't want to get ahead of myself. I expect we'll have some rough sledding when we arrive, so I need you to prepare the crew for the worst. There's just one more thing I want to clarify up front. The metric that for me will be the ultimate measure of your success. What is it? 
If after serving as my first officer, you don't one day find yourself with a ship of your own, then I will consider it my personal failure. When that might happen is entirely up to you. But it goes without saying, you have my full support. Ah, oh, that's a level lot to learn. Thank you. But I feel like I still have so much to learn. I mean, I feel like that's a decent answer, right? And if you're willing to put in the work, I'll do everything in my power to help you along the way. Come, let me introduce you to the crew. Okay. Um. Okay, let's go meet the crew. Uh, I'm guessing we're not going to be going there. <clears throat> okay, very cool. Everyone, if I could have your attention for a moment. I'd like to introduce Commander Jara Rydek, our new first officer. Some quick introductions. This is Lieutenant Handar, our helmsman. One of the best in the business. One of? Well, what he lacks in humility... He's, uh, Bajoran. Ability. A pleasure to meet you, Commander. With the nose ridge and the earrings. Next, we have the earring. Commander Westbrook, our Chief Science Officer. I've come to rely on his expert counsel on a regular basis. Pleasure. Commander Rydak, it is such an honor to meet you. This is our tactical officer, Lieutenant Bedrosian, who's been looking forward to meeting you for about as long as I can remember. I've been following your career for quite some time, and I look forward to learning as much as I can from you. Um, the honor's mine. If anything, the honor is mine. Well, I have to admit, one of the reasons I've followed your career is because you're part Kobliad, because of what you've overcome. Starfleet stands up for people who can't defend themselves, and you were one of those people once. But since then, you've done so much to protect others who need it. I really admire that. So, you've been something of an inspiration to me. Not that I've done anything close to what you've done, but you definitely set a standard to strive for. Um, that, that's quite flattering. I don't know what to say. That's incredibly flattering, thank you. I hope someday I can follow in your footsteps. I'm sure you will. And then, of course, you've already met Commander Ermont. Please, do everything you can to make Commander Rydek feel at home here. I'll be on the Starbase. have an urgent meeting with the Starbase commander to get our authorization to get underway. If they drag their feet any longer, we won't make our rendezvous. The bridge is yours. Okay, sit in the captain's chair when ready, and we can start doing some first officering. Let's um Operations. check quickly. Staffing, supplies. There's a lot to keep track of on a starship. Good thing we have Commander Ermont. So that's ops. Uh, these guys at the helm. How are they doing? The helm. The Resolute is a refitted Centaur class, meaning it's capable of quick maneuvers. Oh, it's a and Centaur class, not a Miranda room. class. Okay, I believe the Centaur class is slightly smaller than the Miranda class. The Miranda class is, of course, the um, the ship that uh, Kirk goes against in Star Trek II: Wrath of Khan. Science station. The Resolute is a science vessel, primarily. Might explain Commander Westbrook's attitude. I'll have to speak with him later. Yeah, he he could be a bit uh, could be a bit problematic. He should be all right though. Um, what are you looking at here? Is this sciencey stuff? No doubt. Engineering sciencey stuff. Master display system. So many decks, full of crew that are now my responsibility. Yeah. Oh, this is so cool. Like it's it's actually like we're playing an episode of Star Trek. Communications keeps us in contact internally and with other vessels. Course. In them, um, in the original series, that would have been the position for um, Uhura. Tactical station. Station. Hopefully, a diplomatic mission won't require we use our weapons much. But if it comes to that, 
We'll be ready. Indeed. Indeed. Okay, let's uh take command. Commander, Chief Engineer Chovak needs to lower the structural integrity field. He sent a crew out to recalibrate the emitters in response to the danger posed by the storm. We just need your go-ahead. Mm, should we give the go-ahead? I love this view. What do you guys think? Oh, what a, what a, what a cool-looking bridge. Okay, let, let's grant permission. permission. Lowering structural integrity field. Right, guys, now. we're going to take a quick break here. When we get back, we will be playing more of a Star Trek Resurgence. You better believe it. Guys, if you like this kind of stuff, please like and subscribe the video. It's a big help in getting it pushed up the old YouTube charts. And of course, if you want to see more of this stuff, please whack something in the comments, as it's a big inspiration. And, uh, and it lets me know people are watching the stuff. And um, yeah, it's, it's always good to know that uh, I'm playing stuff that people like. But yeah, anyhow... We will be getting more episodes of this for sure. And that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Take care.